Hello, I'm Julie Coat. Welcome to Endurance Yoga, The Athlete's Edge. I have Josh here with me today, and we're going to be talking about opening up your hips, preventing injuries, and giving you the edge to move across that finish line faster, stronger than ever before. So today's practice, again, focusing on the hips, we're just going to start in a yoga squat. Just come on over onto your feet or your heels, just sinking those knees down, bending the knees, but keeping your spine long. Josh's your spine is long, the top of his head's reaching for the top of the ceiling. The spine is long, sit bones are low. We're just moving into those hips as we push away with the elbows, opening the knees super wide. We're just starting to warm up the hips a little bit, the hamstrings. Let's take our hands down onto the mat, coming all the way into a standing forward fold. This is Drops down. Good. Inhale, we sink down low, sink it down, back into that yoga squat. Good. Exhale, we lift, reaching the bum to the sky. Good. Sink it down. Breathing here. One breath, one movement. Beautiful. Lifting and lowering. Moving in now a few more times. Head down. Good. So we start to incorporate now our breath with movement. Just starting to really build our yoga plank. And a couple more times, just like that. We can sink and low each time you bend the knees. But now next time you come back into that yoga squat, just hang out for a couple more breaths. Really push those elbows away. So the wide the spine is long, chest is lifted, head is up. And now a standing forward fold as we stretch out the back side of the body. Legs are straight. Good. Now grab onto the opposite elbow with the opposite hand. This will just get super heavy here. Let the body start to decompress, lengthening out, stretching those hamstrings. Really you can start to decompress your spine. So every time we run, we pound, we sure our spine, we start to compress and shorten our spine. Our yoga practice helps to give us some length. Let's just roll up to standing now as we start to reach those arms, bending up over the head, just lifting, reaching, gaze comes up. And then huge swan dive down, just folding half the legs. Now halfway we lift our chin to get space. We plant our hands and step our foot back, taking that low push up chin. Shoulders lift and hips rise to the sky. Take a few breaths in the down. In the shape of a bee, the bones are high, and we're actively pushing our chest toward our thighs. From downward facing dog, we're going to begin to move in deep into the hips, into that connective tissue, just moving right into pigeon. We're starting with a three legged dog, so let's take our right leg to the sky, lifting it super high as you push your chest, continue dropping the head, lifting the right leg, body moving opposite directions. Now bend and spiral your inner thigh, your right leg, your right knee, and then sliding the right knee right in between your hands, pigeon pose. As so you can see, Josh's knee is in the center, in between his hands, his right foot is over to the left side of the mat. His hips are square, shoulders are square, heart is rising, and then we drop down. So make sure you're all set up, you're squared up before you move into this pose. Let the head drop down, let the arms reach out, and then really important here to move in deep into that breath. So we're starting to allow the body to unwind, unravel, creating better balance by not only strengthening our weak areas, but we're opening up those notoriously tight areas. When our hips are super tight, it's going to start to pull the entire body out of it. So creating knee pain when you're running, creating hip pain, creating a lot of people up lower back pain, and pain in the ankles or shoulders. We start to hunch over when those hips are really tight. And let's lift our head up, get some space. Just gonna place those hands on either side of the knee, lift your heart. And then the left toe rolls under, three-legged dog, that right leg just rolls and reaches to the sky. Take your right foot down next to the left, and then just start to wag the tail a little bit as you move in deep, pushing toward the chest, toward the thighs. And then the left leg is gonna reach. So we're gonna take it high. 
But take that toe as high as you can. Really feel the space in between those thighs, bending that left knee now and spiraling over. Feel that space. And then just slide that left knee in between your hands. Coming into pigeon on the left. His right foot is over here um, on the side. His hips are square, shoulders are square, head is lifted. And now we drop it down. So drop it down and really check to see if your foot is on the mat. So we want to make sure the top of your back foot is on the mat, your knee is down on the mat, and then we just sink the body in. Maybe reaching those hands a little further over your head. And then we'll come back to that breathing, just really making sure that you're not holding the breath. A lot of stuff in our hips. It's where we hold a lot of even our emotional issues right here. You see our issues that are held and stored in our tissues and especially in the hips. So let's just start to walk our hands back once again, lifting up our head, lifting up our heart, just a little back bend. And now the right toe rows under, just lift that left leg to the sky. Take that left foot right next to the row. And move into that down dog again. A couple of breaths right here. Let's move in a little bit deeper into these hips as we start with this hip opening warm up. Just take that right leg once again to the sky. Take a high spiral open. Just slide it right through to pigeon. Lift your chest and then drop your head. Sink it low. Good. We inhale. We lift our head. And then we roll right onto the left hand and left foot, lifting and rolling into a side plank. And then a shutter run that just lower down with control. Let your shoulders rise and the hips lift. Left leg floats right up really tight. Spiral in and we slide right through. Square those hips and then drop it down. Beautiful lift up your heart. And then rolling onto the right. Left arm, left hip is rising. And we lower, keeping it tight. Shoulders down. And hips rise. Turning again on the right. And just taking a few rounds at your own pace. So we're just moving one breath, one breath. Using this ujjayi breath, a full deep breath. And then starting to move in deep. So we're, these side planks are actually strengthening our hip as those pigeons move in and open our hips. Flow to really start to not only strengthen but stretch out and victoriously tighten our upper body. This is going to help to really create some better balance, really giving you some power when you're breathing, like even swimming, hiking, whatever it is your sport or your game is. So, just about two more rounds, one more on either side, or two more on either side, shall I say, just really breathing and moving. So we always start to create a little bit of heat so that we can move in deeper. So that is the key to our endurance yoga practice. This heat breath, this shaggy breath, really keeping it strong and creating that balance. Just helping you cross that finish line faster, stronger than ever before. Really giving you the edge when it comes to competing, when it comes to preventing injuries, most importantly. After this last one, just be right in that down dog. Settle into the hips and just start to notice now how the heat is beginning to build. Let's continue to warm things up here as we move a little deeper into the hips, strengthening and stretching at the same time. So take that right leg up, just slide it open. And then touch that left elbow, squeeze forward, moving into the obliques. Take that right leg to the sky very gently. We're flipping our dog. As you can see, Josh seems to drop and rise. And now he flips back over now into the rest of the corner. We have a nice 90 degree angle in that front thigh to over the back. Hands come down. And like a oh, whoopee, lift that right arm. Move in into your right hand comes down. And step back, lower down, shoulder. Shoulders rise. And hips lift, left leg. Spiral it open. Squeeze forward. Move into that strong, strong core. 
gently opening your heart here, flipping your dog. As you can see, his hips drop, they rise. Heads back, good. Flip it back over. Press over the toe of the back foot, not frontwise. Let's do the same. Hands come down, lifting that left arm, like wave rolling. Left hand comes down, and you step it back. Shoulders up, and hips rise. Right leg lifts to the sky, good. Cross that midsection, squeeze. And take the right leg up, gently flipping, hips drop, and lift. Beautiful, we flip right one, three, crescent warrior. Good, show the back. Hands come down, runner's lunge, wave it up. Right hand down, step back, and shoulders lift. And hips rise, left leg floats up to the sky. Touch that opposite elbow and squeeze. Take it up. And flip your dog, hips dropping and lifting, and floating back through. Arms rising. And hands come down like a wave with that left arm. Hands down, step back, and lower. Chaturanga Tandasana. Shoulders up, hips rise. Take yourself through two more rounds. Just two more on the right, two more on the left. Side to side. Really moving in here and feel every pose. So we're moving breath with movement. Just start to notice as well that you are beginning to open your mouth. You want to keep your lips together. Breathing full and deep and really training our body to use the lowest lobes of our lungs. So most people really are shallow breathers. From the top half of the lungs. Learn yoga practice with practice. We can start to incorporate the Full, full lung capacity, really helping you to move deeper into these postures and helping the body to energize quicker, over, faster. Really enhancing every single part of your exercise experience. This is our last round. Feel this round. Feel it. Squeezing in. Notice here. Practice just using almost every single muscle in the body. Fingertips to toes, everything is engaged and strong in mind. So these are balancing poses. It takes a lot of focus to keep the body in balance. If you wobble, if you fall, that's normal. It's okay. Just pick yourself right back up and just start again. It's a light round right here. Squeezing, lifting. See his heart chakra, his throat chakra opening, hips opening, rolling in. Use our core when we lift. And then just move it into the hip as you wait. And then we'll be in that round. Just take the time when you get there. We'll all be in town. So just taking your time, sinking in. Now that the body's all warmed up, we're going to move in a little deeper. Just taking advantage of this heat. So bend your knees and just come right over to hands and knees. Nice neutral spine. Drop those hips over to the left and swing your legs all the way around to the front of your mat. Your right arm in front of you, toes are pointed. And let's just bring our right knee into our chest. And so Josh's knee is into his chest, he's sitting tall. And now the right hand is going to come next to the right hip. We hook our left elbow outside the right knee and use it as a lever to push away as we spiral open. Spiraling our spine, spiraling our hip open, and looking over that right shoulder. We want to make sure we're still sitting tall, we're still breathing into it. We're just starting to release again. Opening Switching sides, let your right foot come forward, and your left knee and sit up tall. Place that left hand down, right elbow. Use it to push away. Use it coming over that left shoulder. Spiraling hard up. Three more breaths. You're sitting. Sitting tall. As you do, unwind. Just come on to the front and then bring the soles of your feet together. So now these knees are out super wide. Now you just scoot yourself up a little closer. It's tall, spine is long. Reaching up. All those are going to play out here as you fold and hinge at the knees. So your 
elbows just laying out, head is down, nose is moving down toward your toes. And we're not flapping the wings, we're not pulling or jerking, or pushing too hard. We're just breathing into the back side, into those hips, into the knees. Again, using that heat to our advantage. So you all here to take about three, four breaths. And you a nice full breaths. And slowly the head will come up. And just straighten our legs as we come right back down onto our back. We're going to lie back onto our back. And we're going to go right into Shavasana. So take the arms next to your sides. Let the palms face upward. Close your eyes for just a moment here. And let the breath travel back into that normal neutral state. Shavasana is really important for healing, for rejuvenating. Hang on here for about a minute or so. And if you have extra time at home, make sure you hang out as long as possible. It's giving your body every opportunity to heal. So moving right in now, softening and melting. Shavasana. sign of gratitude, hands float to the center of your heart. Thank you so much for joining us today. Namaste.